Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> Today we got a uh, Dodge harness that we're gonna assemble. Um, it, cu it comes in two pieces. You have to assemble it. Um, so get in the box. The box was already open. And I noticed the wire damaged. The orange wire was damaged. So I had to do a little repair on that. I mean, the wire wasn't like really damaged it was just like the orange coating that was damaged so i took some heat shrink and uh covered it and put a new butt connector on the end but yeah uh hopefully you guys enjoy the video um don't do much talking in the video so i pretty much do voiceovers and everything but yeah so you're gonna want to loom it not everybody does it we, I do it because it protects the harness even more. I mean, it's wrapped. The harness is already wrapped, so we wrap it twice, kind of. Keeps it protected, makes it look good. You know, just feed it through. Uh, I like to tape the ends. Keeps the loom in place. Um, I tape every, like, two feet. But we were short on electrical tape, so I... Did what I could trying to save it until we get more in the shop. Um, yeah, don't do go, don't go too crazy with your electrical tape, but make it look good at the same time. So here I noticed the uh, the damage to the harness and trying to figure out what I want to do to it. So I just grabbed some heat shrink. It's like a quarter inch thick. Let's cut it to the length of the damage. And it wasn't going to fit over the butt connector. So I had to cut the butt connector off and replace it with a new one. But no big deal. We have the we had the parts and stuff for the repair. Now you just take the other part of the harness and you set it on top, aligning your wires. Um, your B and C won't line up with your A when it's all said and done because you have to put a, another relay in between B and C before you go to the module. But your four pin down at the bottom, you can hook straight up and make it look nice and neat. Um, just wire, just electrical tape together, make it as neat as possible. Do that in a couple spots so it stays pretty good. I think I use a couple zip ties too. You can use whatever you want. Whatever your preferred, preferred choice is, I'd recommend using. So now you gotta splice the two harnesses together. You take the brown wire, cut it off, not too short, not too long, and you find the green park wire. There's like three green, three or four green ones. Let's find the green park, and you cook it to that one, splice it in, and shrink the shrink on the heat shrink. And there's a DRL wire that we that you don't use that often. So you're going to want to tuck that back, tape it, and you're going to want to loom that as well. You don't loom it all the way up to the butt connectors. Give you some room to work with because where you're going to be hooking up, they don't give you a lot of wire play. So 
So help yourself out and leave yourself some slack. But, yeah. Here's the harness all loomed up and taped up and ready to go. Like I said, leave a little bit, leave a little bit of wire showing on your butt connectors so you got some room to work with. Thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned for the next one.